So, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a blessed day. Just wanted to encourage you today about the difference between religion and relationship. So the difference between religion is religion it revolves around uh, rules and regulations and doing things uh, that sometimes are unrealistic. And relationship is actually knowing God for yourself. Getting to a point where you know God and you love him and you do things to please him, not because you're afraid of him, not because you're looking for ins uh, for fire insurance. And what I mean by fire insurance, some people, they do things to, uh, to try to guarantee their place in heaven. They don't want to go to hell, so they want to guarantee their place in heaven. And what they end up doing is doing things, uh, their motive is strictly to stay out of hell. The motive is strictly not to go to hell. They don't uh, develop a relationship with God. They don't want to know God. Their ultimate desire is not to go to hell. They have a fear of not going to hell. And when I was younger, that's what they did uh, to us young people. They showed us uh, movies about hell and, and scared us to the point that uh, we didn't want to go to hell. And so what happens, a lot of young people came to Jesus because they didn't want to go to hell. And they didn't stress relationship because uh, to be honest, I don't think a lot of the older people had a relationship with Christ at the time. So uh, when you develop a relationship with God, uh, how you develop a relationship is you get to know a person. You know, when you uh, get to you know, go on a date with a member of the opposite sex, what you do is you call them up on the phone, you, uh, hey, how you doing? And, and you get to know each other, you ask each other questions, and you get to know each other, and eventually, uh, if you're a good fit, you fall in love, and, uh, and once you fall in love, then you seek to do things to please that person. You seek to do things to please that member of the opposite sex. And it's the same way with the relationship with God. Uh, you, you get to know him. How you get to know God is you read his word and you pray. You read his word and you pray and, and you develop a deeper relationship with God. And as you read God's word and you pray, God manifests himself to you. He starts operating in your life and he starts bringing things to pass. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 11, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a future and a hope. So God wants to give you that future and a hope. And once you develop that, once you accept him as Lord and Savior, he starts operating, actively operating in your life to bring things to pass those things that you care about those things those dreams those desires he's placed them in your heart and he wants them to happen but he doesn't want them to happen apart from his word so the key is develop a relationship with God getting to know him praying spending time in prayer spending time reading his word and once you spend that time praying once you spend that time reading his word and developing that relationship then you fall in love with God and once you fall in love with God, then you want to do things to please him. You want to do things to make him happy. You don't want to displease him. Just like uh, a member of the opposite sex, how you bring him flowers, you bring him candy, you call him on the phone, you know, you call him just because. You know, that's the kind of thing God wants. He wants you to do things to please him. So we'll do the Ten Commandments. We'll do those things that please God once you know him. And then as you do things to please God, guess what? God does things to please you as well. So he starts operating in your life. He starts giving you favor. He starts raising up someone somewhere to use their power, their ability, and their influence to be a blessing in your life life because you're a blessing to him. So I just want to encourage you today, if you don't currently have a relationship with Christ, to, to, uh, to pray Romans 10, 9, and 10. If you do have a relationship with him, draw closer to him. Um, if, you, if you currently walked away, the Bible says in 1 John 1 and 9, it says, if we confess our sins to him, he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hope you uh, uh, go in peace today. Hope you have a blessed day. Hope this is an encouragement to you. Uh, be blessed.